In 2015, Dr. Katie Ford's son, Oliver, was in year three at the British International School of Houston, being taught by Ros Williamson, an established teacher at the school. As they discussed the upcoming International Primary Curriculum Unit, Inventions That Changed the World, it occurred to them both that this was a great opportunity to draw upon Dr. Ford's unique skill set as an inventor and entrepreneur. As a CEO of a company within the Texas Medical Center's Accelerator, which provides intensive training for adult entrepreneurs within healthcare, Dr. Ford had excellent links with TMC. Over the following months, a unique and transformational collaboration and partnership began. Dr. Forth and Ms. Williamson designed a new immersive innovation curriculum for the British International School of Houston. Experts from the Texas Medical Center became pivotal in their plans to engage students in year three in an authentic and purposeful unit of learning about healthcare that pulled together academic goals, life skills, and innate creativity and curiosity to create possible solutions for complex health problems. Over the following weeks, everyone was amazed at the impact the curriculum had on learners and learning. Dr. Forth and Ms. Williamson co-authored a paper which was presented at the Hawaii International Conference of Education that showed initial findings of significant changes in students' mindsets. The school's appetite was wet. Over the following two years, the curriculum has been revised, reviewed, extended and enhanced. In 2016, in addition to the Year 3 six-week immersive innovation curriculum on healthcare, Students in year 1 to 8 experienced a condensed version of the innovation curriculum where, over one week, they worked through the same creative and innovative curriculum model to solve a variety of real-world problems. Again, extraordinary educational gains were made alongside astonishing shifts in mindset. Much was learned about the immersion aspect of the curriculum. Without the struggle of being in the pit of learning, the impact on the students lessened. It was discovered that the complete suspension of other inputs for English and maths was vital for students to show their grit and resilience and build new links in their learning. We observed students previously debilitated by fear of failure genuinely start to see each hurdle and setback or challenge as a way of further refining and improving their invention. This year, in 2017, a further adaptation was made. The original Year 3 cohort from 2015 joined the current Year 3 cohort to solve problems associated with healthcare. Over five weeks, the students in both year groups worked together through the four phases of the curriculum. At every phase, input was received from inspirational speakers such as Bill McKeon, CEO of TMC, and Dr. Forth, entrepreneurs and senior members of the school staff. This year, in the hope that their initial findings from 2015 and 2016 could be documented with associated evidence, a mindset study based on the world work of Dr. Carol Dweck was designed. These surveys on the students' mindsets were administered at regular intervals throughout the process. In each respective year group, Dr. Forth and students from the IB Psychology course administered them to the students. The results of these surveys will, depending on the outcomes, be used to write a peer-reviewed article on mindsets later this year. The Immersive Innovation Curriculum follows a cycle of Phase 1, identifying the problem. Students use real-life experiences to identify their passions around issues they've encountered in their personal lives or the lives of those closest to them. They list numerous problems that spark curiosity and interest before deciding on a problem they'd like to pursue throughout the unit. Once a problem's been decided upon, students form companies with other students of similar passion. These newly formed groups will together go on an extraordinary journey of resilience, creativity and collaboration in the coming weeks. Phase two, shaping ideas. Students work collaboratively as a team to identify problems and possible solutions. Once the solution has been identified, they research the market to see if it's already been brought to the market. If this is the case, they follow the same iterative process followed by adult entrepreneurs and pivot, returning to their original problem to consider alternative paths. They interview clients to identify whether their solution will meet the needs of other sufferers. The pivoting is where students experience disappointment, frustration, anxiety and even despair. These very real emotions are overcome through grit, resilience, perseverance and teamwork as new solutions and ideas are proposed. This is where the input of content experts from TMCX is essential. Students question the VIP visitors on facts about their chosen problem. The level of scientific understanding that's gleaned by these seven and eight-year-old students is extraordinary. 
Their language, vocabulary, comprehension and ability to explain complex issues is breathtaking as their knowledge grows around the, their given subject. Once a valid and viable solution is identified, the companies, now more collaborative than ever given their shared challenge, move into the next stage of product development. Phase three, <coughs> communication. Students take their embryonic project to market. They consider how to convey their invention orally, in writing and visually through the development of an elevator pitch, an executive summary and a prototype model about their invention. Storyboards explaining the design process, facts, data and information about their problem and pivots are produced as a backdrop to their company pitch. Over this stage, extreme pitching becomes the focus. Pitching to friends, relatives, innate objects, in elevators and finally to representatives from TMCX. Once again, the partnership with TMC allows these young and impressionable students to receive powerful and formative feedback from real-life entrepreneurs. Supported by their teachers, their asked challenging follow-up questions are pushed to own the stage, the microphone and the audience. They practice and practice until they can perform seamlessly as one. Phase four, the grand showcase. Finally, once all the work has been completed, the models are made, the boards are perfected and the pitch is honed, the students are invited to present at the TMCX stage at the Innovation Centre at the Texas Medical Centre. Every company has a stand with their written and visual information. Parents, VIPs, medical experts and entrepreneurs mingle with the students, questioning and challenging them on their ideas. At last, the audience and panel of executive judges take their seats for the final pitches. Company by company, these seven and eight-year-old children take to the stage. Clutching their prototype models and props, they collectively turn to face the audience of over 100 adults, 50 students, and an awe-inspiring panel made up of astronauts, dignitaries, and leading lights in the medical field. Then, they blow them away. Reflections on this year. It isn't just their stage presence. It isn't just the incredible accrual of knowledge and understanding. It's the passion with which these young people speak about real life problems that they've unpicked to create real life solutions. Initially, there's an inevitable hush as the two minute pitches sink in and the enormity of the unique challenges each group has taken on sinks into the judges' minds. Then, rapturous applause before the panel asks their questions. To start with, the panel may see small children, but as they hear the confident, articulate and well-reasoned answers to complex and challenging questions, the children disappear and the future adults they'll become stand before them. Pitch after pitch, invention after invention, everyone is overwhelmed by the extraordinary feats of these young people. As the last round of applause abates and the panel withdraw to deliberate on the winners of each of the category of prizes, each company confidently takes to the floor to answer a number of complex questions about their inventions as well as about their company. Groups are unfazed as they clearly are the experts of their invention and realise that no one in the world is as knowledgeable about their healthcare solution as they are. Through grit and determination, they've embraced diversity and adversity. They've become the experts. Without the immersive aspect of the curriculum and partnership with experts, none of this would have been possible. Our next steps. Every student is a winner, given the academic, social and emotional development and progress that's witnessed throughout. When, this year, the Year 5 alumni revisited healthcare as their unit topic, and presented a one-minute elevator pitch at TMCX to the panel, the progress these students could demonstrate over the two years was testament to the long-reaching impact that the programme has had on all aspects of students' attainment. Parents, teachers, experts alike can see the positive impact that authentic learning and this partnership has had. It's extraordinary. We're hopeful that the evidence and data collected throughout this most recent unit of study will support us so that a peer-reviewed article can be published. Our hope as a school is to take this key learning of this unique, immersive unit of study and apply the concept more widely across the school. In addition, we hope to support the Texas Medical Center CEO, Bill McKeon, with his vision of rolling out a similar curriculum across the Houston Independent School District. Do you know anybody who's had a heart attack? Raise your hand if you do. Hello, I'm Emma. Hello, I'm Ethan. Hello, I'm Michael. Hello, I'm Stara. Hello, I'm Maddie. We created a CPR tissue to prevent heart attacks. 
The teacher is for people with health problems and over the age of 60. About 610,000 Americans die from heart disease every year. That's one in four deaths. We learned that failure is a really good thing because when you get failure, it means you know that you have to keep on trying and you have to make it even better. Our invention is called CLT. It stands for Cortisol Level Tester. It basically tests your level of cortisol and it, there's a tips and tricks book that tells you how to handle your stress. Our invention uh, is a product of it stops uh, hay fever, especially looking at uh, runny noses, uh, itching and sneezing uh, because that's super annoying. Uh, and so uh, all that you need to do uh, is pop it in your nose and it'll stay there uh, and it'll stop uh, everything from happening. This song. Uh, 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 stay alive, stay alive. We'll play till a person giving CPR can keep in time the safe speed.